Good morning, currently Friday morning. Uh, it is 8 a.m. Um, I've just finished my breakfast, uh, which was delish. So I'm about to watch the announcement. Uh, my plan is to do the workout tonight at 4.30. So I'm gonna have a look at the announcement now, um, kind of just get an idea, draft up a plan, and then get along with my day, and then get ready to hit it tonight. So let's watch it. Is to make How good to Google ads. Because students mm -hmm. have a lot How good's an ad? Oh, Love them. Speaking of ads, this vlog is brought to you by Toothpicks. You ever get something stuck in your teeth so bad that it's just irritating you? You can feel it on the roof of your mouth. You can feel it in between your teeth. You can feel it on your gums. You can just feel that little prick hanging about there. Well, you can get that prick with a toothpick. And for only 99 cents per a lot, you can get rid of that prick with a toothpick. Um, but seriously, uh, Apple. It's three wall walks, 12 dumbbell snatches, 15 box jump overs, 15 minute AMRAP. This is gonna be fun. I'm thoroughly looking forward to this one. Um, it just looks like it's 15 minutes of moving. Yeah, none of the movements are challenging enough where we're going to have to stop on any reps. Like, you're not going to be able to complete anything. It's definitely going to be very, um, you know, lung intensive. But this looks like fun. Interesting standard too. So, not allowed to uh, rebound. I don't know if I like that, dislike that. I think I, I think I like that. I think if you had to rebound, it would have made it a little bit harder. But both of them are holding one minute 15 rounds on average. Um, like Olsen's looking a little bit slower right now, but that round was still a minute 15 on the dot and we're at the eight minute 53 mark. We're creeping into the nine minute mark. Yeah, at first glance, it's, at first glance, it's looking like I'm going to um, move efficiently on the wall walks, just like get there, get down and just start moving and breathing. Um, when it comes to the dumbbell snatches, just pick it up, swap over the top, uh, swap overhead, breathe at the top. And when I get to those box jumps, I almost use it as an opportunity. Um, I feel like I can get into a really good rhythm, especially with these step downs of the box jumps. So I'm just gonna jump, um, try to relax through, catch, land, catch, land, catch, land, and just try to breathe and recover catch my lungs a little bit, just try to bring the heart rate down before I go into the next round of wall walks. So for now, uh, it's about just fueling, getting ready for the workout. Um, got some client check-ins and some, I guess, life things to do. And then we're gonna head over to the gym and we'll see how we go. So, wish me luck. And here you have it, guys. The uh, attire we're gonna be rocking up in. Repping that star strength. Got some night going and Let's go. What up? What is that? Hello? I'm just going to head to the gym. Jeed. Um, let's go have some head fun. straight there, meeting up with Miss Samantha. And here we are, we're at the gym. Uh, so we are here, 22.1 going down, just like that, like a flash. Let's go say hi to some people. Hey bro. Hey man. So this is gonna be, um, I guess my coach slash judge. Mm, I'm gonna judge you really hard. Mm. Does that I might change count anything? I might count you a few reps too. Miscount or count? Definitely bro reps. Bro rep is when your movement might be a little questionable, but bro, you gotta give me that rep. So you gotta stay. Trust me. I can't. Trust me. Okay, count him, what bro. do you want? Count him. Eight. Count him. Nine. So as you can see, he uh, decided to shave his pubes and put them on his face. 
I don't know if you know, this beard's not actually real. Well, I mean, at least I can grow pubes to put on my face. Yeah. You haven't reached that point yet, have you? No, I, but you know what? I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. Looks like a, looks like a dolphin skin. Thoughts on this workout? Ooh, it's, uh, it's long. Stop it's, it. It's, um, <laughs> it's about the only thing that's long between here, these two. Stop it. Get some help. Um, uh, it's long, it's grindy. I think the reps are low enough that you can have a good pace and it sort of comes down to transitions. What up? Not much. Just uh, kicking it. So uh, just quickly, why aren't you doing it today? Uh, I want to do it tomorrow for the big dogs, you know, like yeah. Jack and Ben and a few others. You know, not saying that you're not big, but like, you are pretty large. Just, you know, I want to be- Just little. Just like their height is like six foot. Yeah. Like five, five. Doesn't really make the basketball playoffs. Yeah, basically. Mm. Just sit up. Not bad. <laughs> how you going? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm ready That's to good. exercise yep, at yep. high intensity and complete some functional movements. Mm. Sounds good, mm. sounds good. What's the most exciting part of the workout for you? Stepping down definitely on that Step. box. Trying to get my breath back. <laughs> uh, why choose to do it on a Friday? So I can have the weekend um, to myself. Oh, dude, yeah. how good to weekend to yourself? So good. Like an athlete, she trains so damn hard and she drinks too many beers. Excuse me. What, not beers? What are you drinking? Um, gin fizzers. Gin fizzers. I've never even heard of a gin fizzer. Well, you need to come out with us then. <laughs> God help me. Yeah. Okay guys, now we're gonna, we're gonna warm up. We're getting ready for this workout and you're gonna see how it goes. So, wish us luck. Sign it out. Yeah, uh, I'm about to make him disappear. I don't wanna see no tears. This is only the beginning. Losing is my only fear. Take some time away from my peers. Started working hard for my career. Now it's safe to say a lot and clear. Yeah, I'm the rookie of the year. I'm the rookie of the year. I'm the rookie of the year. I'm the rookie of the year, yeah. I'm the rookie of the year. Just in time away from all my peers. Started working hard for my career. Now I said to say it loud and clear, yeah. I'm the rookie of the year. Time is money like I got a rollie on me, so I gotta make it count. Some homies switched up on me, that don't matter to me, I'm just tryna make it out. Coming straight up out the ground. Tell them I don't play around. They claiming that they got the loud, but I don't hear them, they ain't making a sound. I'm about to hit them where it hurts. I promise this could have been worse. I put God over everything, in other words, he's always first I regret things I did in the past, plotting on a better move than my last Give me a mic and you know I'm a spaz, it's a team effort, I'm like Rondo with the past Wolf, get it together, what's we'll hair some bricks and some feathers I had to change for the better, yeah, I had to change for the better It's simple, don't let it control you, they gon' try to bring up at the owe you Be careful who you give your trust to, most people out here tryna hurt you I'm about to make them disappear, I don't wanna see no tears This is only the beginning, losing is my only fear Take some time away from my peers, started working hard for my career Now it's safe to say a lot and clear, yeah, I'm the rookie of the year I'm the rookie of the year, I'm the rookie of the year I'm the rookie of the year, yeah. I'm the rookie of the year. Just in time away from all my peers. Started working hard for my career. Now I said to say it loud and clear, yeah. I'm the rookie of the year. I feel like curry with the sauce, I be cooking, but I be minding my own business. You might think I'm tripping, all that talk is BS, so I just toss it to the pigeons. Don't act like you ballin', be humble, you should be your only competition. I been grinding, y'all be whining, that's two different definitions, yeah. I got the sauce and I'm turning back, you gave it all up for a hundred bands. I came from the bottom like I won the lotto, don't play with the squad, you get these hands. A loss is a lesson, a win is a blessing. Yeah, yeah, don't tell me to calm down, you cause all the stressing. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to make them disappear. I don't wanna see no tears. This is only the beginning. Losing is my only fear. Take some time away from my peers. Started working hard for my career. Now I said to say a lot and clear, yeah. I'm the rookie of the year. I'm the rookie of the year. I'm the rookie of the year. I'm the rookie of the year, yeah. I'm the rookie of the year. Just in time away from all my peers. Started working hard for my career. Now I said to say a lot and clear, yeah. I'm the rookie of the year. You're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. Don't you know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day? Ah. 
<laughs> Whew. Your boy. Hi, <laughs> man. Uh, 22.1 is one and done. Bam. First workout out of the open. I'm stoked about it. Um, now I get to leave it, put it in a corner and just move on with the rest of the training. Uh, my experience with the workout, it was quite, quite lungsy. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of breathing involved. Um, I found that there wasn't any of the movements that were challenging enough where you would have to stick there for too long. Like you're not gonna fail a set of 12 dumbbell snatches, nor the box jumps, nor three wall walks. There was just enough repetitions on anything where it just forced you to keep going. It almost felt like 19.1, um, that one where it was like a 20 minute AMRAP of, it was like four dumbbell thrusters followed by six uh, toes to bar and then some double unders. Just, and you just had to keep moving through. It was just one of those workouts where it's choose a pace, hold it, and just be prepared to breathe heavy. Um, my experience or like, what did I think about the workout? It was just, it was pure fun. While we're moving, the heart rate's up and it's only been three minutes, but just like a 5K run, I felt like the first three minutes, if you could get over that, it was literally just like holding the pace after that and just cruising through. And at the end, it was just, just go. Just go. Um, but yeah, I think that the main, uh, the main part of the workout, my experience was just like, it was just a lungsy kind of workout. I found the most challenging part of that workout just being the standard on the wall walks. Like the standard is um, uh, 60 feet. Yeah, so the standard 60 feet from the wall, right, is the line and you've got to place your, like at least your fingertips on the tape on that 60 foot point. <laughs> And when you're creeping back, you gotta to go to a 10 foot line on the wall. The 10 foot line's fine, like my chest was banging on the wall every single time. Um, but anytime I came back through, I felt like the line was so far away from the wall, that 60 foot was so damn far away from the wall that to like really reach up before my feet would hit. And it almost felt like I was in this weird like Superman push up before I'd crash down. And then I'd be doing a push up from like above my head. Um, at least like in the earlier rounds, I was able to just kind of like push up and keep a good shoulder position. But by the end of it, my hands were above my head. I'm just flopping down on the crowns. So that was probably the more challenging part. But again, it was only three reps, so it wasn't too much of a bother, too much of a worry. To anybody hitting it and they're gonna find that they're just like, they're moving through quite efficiently, I would try to relax your legs as much as possible. Like let them go so damn passive throughout the wall walk, like whilst you can, because that's the only time you're gonna be off your feet. Um, off your face, off your feet. That's the only recovery you're gonna get, because the next time you go onto the dumbbell snatches, you're on your feet and it's purely just hamstring feet. And then you start doing those box jumps and it catches up to you, catches up. Next bit of advice I'd probably give is uh, transitions are everything. Um, there was so much time I seen in other heats where people would be doing it and they just spent so long kind of walking over to the next piece. And if you're hitting something like 10 rounds and you're taking six seconds to transition on just from your box over to your wall walk, that's a whole 60 seconds. Right, that's, six, that's a whole minute of just transition time. Not to mention you're gonna have transitions wall to dumbbell to box to wall. It's three minutes of transitioning just there. So the sooner you can just get the exercise started, the better you are going to uh, feel, or at least you're gonna feel like you have more time. And you just gotta get over it. It's literally just starting. Get in there, get it started, and just find your flow. My next piece of advice would be to go 5% slower than 5% faster. Um, just being that if you're trying to work at that really uncomfortable pace and that's just that 5% faster and then you hit that threshold, it's gonna take you a little bit, little bit longer before you come back down, you're able to like continue on through. But if you stay at that 5% slower and just stay at like, not a comfortable pace, but one where you know you're not gonna blow up, you're able to just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going before you even hit that threshold point. And then you have a little bit of energy to kind of like push for those last rounds. So whatever pace you can hold that you're going to be able to sustain for the whole 15 minutes, right? So it is a little bit better to go 5% slower than it is to go 5% faster. Yeah, and just prepare like, Again, just feet. My feet were burning afterwards, and I feel like those wall walks were the only time I just got a chance to just, just chill. 
yeah. So I hope whatever advice I can give helps and I uh, hope my experience can at least give you a better insight as to how you might tackle 22.1. Um, again, it was a crazy fun workout and I guess I should probably talk to you about my score uh, just in case a few of you are wondering and how many rounds I got because uh, it can get a little bit confusing throughout the, the workout, I guess. Um, so my score was, yeah, I'm not telling you, but it was fun. And I'll see, <laughs> I'll see you on the leaderboard. Catch you later.